Okay. Uh, good boy. Melt it. Maddie, use it. Madeline, use it. Madeline. Milton, come on. Come on, Bobby. Milton, come on. Milton. All right, come on, Maddie. Come on, Maddie. Madeline. Madeline, come on. Good girl, good girl, Maddie. Madeline. Good morning, guys. I am up and Adam, and I've already done my manifestation and meditation for the day. And today was all about appreciating where you are right now. It's not about comparing yourself to anyone else, and it's not even comparing yourself where you are now to where you think you should be. It's about truly being in the moment and appreciating where you are right now. And that can pretty much go in every facet of life. That's whether you think you should be further in your career, or you think you should be married with kids by now, or you think you should have lost more weight. Like, it's, it's about stopping and appreciating where you are right now. So I want you to repeat after me and just really feel it today. I am where I am, and that's okay. Like, I don't know if you needed to hear that, but I needed to hear that today because I struggle constantly with feeling like I'm not doing enough and feeling like I'm down on myself for not having accomplished more or been more accomplished at this stage in my life. So it is such a good reminder to just take a step back and be like, I am where I am and that is okay. Appreciate where you are right now and feel the gratitude for where you are right now and feel the hope for where you're going okay like we want to look to the future with hope and excitement not already with this feeling of well i should have already done this anyway so it's no big deal like no be excited about where you are right now and be excited for the future that is out there waiting for you as you're going through life every day putting in the effort but who cares about the future because i am so excited about right now you know why because it's time to do the zip fish shake, okay? And today we are having, bam! Oh, fruit punch. Oh, yes, absolutely. I missed you, fruit punch. Okay. Oh, that was a good one. Come on. Y'all ever have it where, like, the safety seal just breaks in that perfect spot to where, like, it is so much more difficult to peel the rest of it off? That's okay, though. I am team peel the safety seal so I'm gonna put the time in I don't even see the perforations where are the perforations mm. okay. okay guys let's get ready to shake it in three two one Right, guys to gratitude to joy to acceptance to being where you are right now and being okay with it oh oh and I am okay with the fruit punch oh mmm it's so tart it has such a strong tart fruit punchy flavor oh god this is great to let you guys know exactly what the deal was when you mm -hmm. use my code have not done that research yet so I do know that you get like a, a amount of money off or percentage off when you use my code all that's gonna be in the link uh, of the description of this video today gotcha. so be sure to check that out if you're interested in getting a blood glucose slash ketone monitor okay guys business owner duties here I was on my way to like cracking open my cheese snacks when I get a phone call 
that there is a plumber at the shop and they need to be let in. And I'm like, nobody told me that a plumber was showing up today and I didn't schedule it. But alas, I gotta drop everything I'm doing and head to the shop so that I can let this plumber in. So I have not eaten anything today, which, you know, is extending my fast, which is always a come up, so that's good. But, you know, I'll let you know when I get back home and I am cracking into them cheese snacks. I cannot wait. You're so beautiful. Yes, so beautiful. Uh, I love my husband. Don't touch my legs. Oh my gosh. I need my legs to drive. Oh my this is my driving legs. Okay guys, it is time to eat and I have three distinct meat food groups represented on my plate. First, I have a beef hot dog covered in mustard. Uh, and then this is some beautifully grilled blackened chicken. These two tenderloins right here. Uh, and then uh, this is just that pan seared salmon that I had. Like. These two are covered in that chipotle ole, and this one's covered in, in mustard, an assortment of zero carb sauces. The great thing about these is that they're just so different. Like all this meat is different. Like this salmon is going to be salty. Mm, mm. Salty and crispy, but then this chicken, like my husband marinated it and he coated it in red pepper, so it is so spicy. So good. And then I got a hot dog. Mmm. Mmm. So beefy. So hearty. Like, ugh, I'm so excited right now. Carnivore is actually great. Thank you. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm okay, fine. Okay guys, here are my two delicious bacon cheeseburgers. So these are those deliciously charred, burnt to a crisp burgers that my husband had on the grill. And uh, then I just covered them in two slices of bacon each and then covered one with double cheddar cheese, another one with Gouda. And then I have on some more of that chipotle aioli. Uh, and then I mix some hot sauce into it because it can always get spicier. You know what I'm saying? So like, I'm just gonna try one of these now. I know it's gonna be delicious. It's the burger train. Mm. Beefy, bacony, cheesy. Okay, so I'm just going to enjoy this and then see what my intuition tells me to do next. So, there you go. Hello? Yeah, I can do that right now. Okay, bye. If it ain't one business, it's another. So I had to go from the beauty salon. Now I'm working with my brother's trucking company. He just got a new truck already expanding. And so now I need to go print the insurance cards. Okay, everyone, this is my little brother, William. I know y'all have to know him from Vlogmas. They know you from like Christmas and stuff okay, like that. Okay. Yes. Okay, so what do you want to say to the people? What's going on, everyone? It's your boy, the one and only Billy Spratt, the creme de la creme, Billy the billionaire. Oh, what my I'm about God. to go do is I'm about to go pick up a truck. Mm -hmm. My driver's outside. Mm -hmm. He's going to get in the truck. Yeah. We're going to pick up the trailer. Yes. We're going to pick up a load. Yes. We're going to collect three grand. You right. So, hey, that's the so, wash, rinse, and repeat. There you go. So with that being said, you stay tuned. <laughs> Absolutely. I love it. <laughs> definition of the word satisfied. I feel satisfied and now it is time for dessert. I'm having my cheese snacks here and then I'm also having just some whipped cream that I whipped up with some Jordan skinny syrup. You guys, post carnivore, if I was able to, you know, sprinkle some chocolate chips or something on here, like that's what I'm missing is the texture, the crunchy texture. I mean, I can have crunchy cheese crisps all I want, but like what is the sweet 
crunchy carnivore thing I can have. Like, I think that's what I'm missing. Comment down below, do you have any ideas? Because I miss it. All right, cheese snacks and then on to work. I've been doing work for everybody else today. Now I gotta do some work for myself. You know what I'm saying? So dessert and then work. Oh my God. <laughs> what is this? monstrosity oh that you have right here. Oh, M goodness. I borrowed your keto bread. Mm-hmm. And this may be on scene. So this is keto. Yeah. Cause the bread's keto, the bacon's keto. Mm -hmm. Uh, a little bit too much tomato for uh, my liking, but uh, that little sliver of lettuce, that's keto enough. That looks delicious, babe. Well, thank you. Do man. you know what ain't keto at all? What? Caught him. These chips. Oh, uh. yeah. He just got them ripples. Oh, no, we don't got ruffles. Who needs ruffles when you could get ripples? Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, but that's okay. Go ahead, have your little snack, a little crunchy snack. Uh. Okay, and while my husband enjoys the world's sexiest BLT, I'm going to have me a diet soda. So I'm drinking a diet soda and then I am committed to two cups of water today. Two more cups, because I've already had some today. Two more cups of water today. And then I may or may not have a Sprite Zero. We may sneak one of those in, but I'm having a soda and getting to work. Okay guys, so the day is over. I have been glued to my computer pretty much this entire afternoon getting a lot of work done for Keto Palooza. So today's been a busy day, but it was really good. I am sitting here, I am having a Sprite yes. Zero. So, you know, I have been finding myself doing two diet sodas a day, a diet Pepsi early in the mm -hmm. afternoon, and then a Sprite Zero to close out the day. I know that's not ideal, but like, I don't care. Like, they're delicious. And, and one day I will scale back, but I'm really not, not trying today. to put myself in that restrictive place mm -hmm. as yes. of right You're now. You're already so. getting used to carnivores. So exactly. Let's, let's, let's so I'm going to drink one, my one diet sodas, effect. okay? Yeah. And it's doing, you know, I'm doing well. Like, I don't I don't think I'm retaining any nice. water or weight or feeling bloated other that. than from the pure meats, mm -hmm. you know? But other than that, I feel great. I'm enjoying watching you on this carnivore roller coaster. Mm, watching as a spectator. Oh mm. no, he's not participating. No, no, he'd never do that. Uh, I'm doing it more. I'm like seven. Says the man that was eating ripples earlier today. I uh, see. I love you so much because you know what it's like for a bag of potato chips to sit there so long that they go bad. Mm -hmm. I have never experienced a world oh where I do gosh. not eat all of the potato chips before they go bad. I don't know what bad potato chips look like because I've never let it oh got that gosh. far. So the fact that you can just be like, well, if you don't eat them for a few weeks, they spoil. Who, who buys a bag of potato chips months? Who what? buys a bag of potato chips with the thought that they're gonna remain in your house for a few months? When all you need is a few. Mm -mm. All See? you need is a couple. That's my husband, everybody. He so like is an alien. Seven or eight chips on a plane. <laughs> Once a week. See how long <laughs> that lasts you. Okay, everybody, well, we're gonna call it a day, and uh, I hope you had a good one because I had a great oh, one. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, Watch Autumn Keto. I make weekly meal preps, weekly full days of eating, monthly weigh-ins, monthly keto crate unboxings, the occasional mm -hmm. product review, recipe, date night, smash the crate. So much. You can also follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Patreon at Watch Autumn Keto. Thanks, and we'll see you next week. Bye. Well, bye. You don't have to whisper. Uh. <laughs> Good morning, Dr. Wise. Thank you for saying hi, everyone, Good sweetheart. Morning, you are babe. so helpful. I don't know if you're being deceived or you're doing These okay. plates are so stuck together. They are so stuck it's together. Favorite mm -hmm. plate for my keto bread. Yep, that's what they needed to see.